Good morning, this is Samantha McGuire with Microwave Research and Applications. Today we are learning how to program the Red Lion C48T timer. As you can see it has four buttons. We have the F1 reset button. This is an enter button, up arrow, and a down arrow. To enter the program mode, you hold down the enter button. It will come up with program entry. Your choices are auto scroll and digit. I always go with the auto scroll. It just allows you to hold the number buttons up and down. This is your time range. Um, N.SEC means minutes and seconds. There are many ranges depending on the resolution that you need. The operation mode, the timer operating mode, uh, depends on what your application is. In the manual there will be a chart and you can pick what's best for your application. Generally we do 9 which stops timing and manual reset to 0 which means it won't reset until you hit the reset button with a latched output. The next setting is the timer reset at power up and we generally say no, this is part of the default. Uh, timer is not reset at power up, um, which means you manually have to reset it to allow your output to come through. Your access preset values. Uh, when you say yes, the preset value is viewable and changeable at the main display. Uh, basically means if you're not in program mode, you can still change your preset time. There's your preset time. We have it set to five minutes. Um, your access output time values is locked. The output time value is not viewable at the main display or in the protected value menu. Output resolution uh, configures the timed output resolution for all available outputs. I generally use the 0 .01 second. Um, output one time value controls output one duration when output one is set for timed mode of operation. Um, reverse output logic. Um, for heating applications such as ours, we want to reverse the output, which means the output is on when you're timing. Vice having the output on when not timing. Reverse enunciator logic uh, controls the logic state of the output display enunciators. Output power up state. Uh, in this, the we have off, so the output will be off at power up, and you have to manually reset it to turn the output on. Um, user inputs. Three external user inputs plus the front panel function key are available um, if you need more than one output. Um, with the L, it's reset level active. When the user input is activated, the timer value and outputs will be reset and held reset until the user input is released. Those are all the user inputs. Um, this is a programming code value. Uh, we generally have it disabled. Uh, depending on the code range selected and the program disable level, it may be necessary to enter the code value. Uh, more information on that in the manual that you can get. Uh, this says whether you want to scroll the display and have more information in your display than just your set value in the actual time.
and this is used to reset everything to factory settings. Now you're back to the beginning and to save all your changes you hold the enter button down until it says save and then you're right back where you started. Hit the F1 reset and you should start counting up. Uh, I have a temperature controller in series with this timer with an alarm output that enables the controller. So at this time it's not counting because I've not reached my parameters on the PID controller. Thank you. If you have any further questions, please go to www.microwaveresearch.com or feel free to email me at samanthaM at microwaveresearch.com. Thank you.